When it comes to Manchester United right now, nothing is more important than the sale of the club, than getting rid of the Glazers. In this video, I'm going to bring you bang up to date with everything that is happening because stage two is now underway. My interview with Ben Jacobs covered all of that in some real detail. This one's, I suppose, a little bit of a bite-sized version of that and also some updates from James Ducker and Tom Morgan from The Telegraph because all the identities have now been revealed as to the hedge funds who are looking to come in for Manchester United. And I really want to serve this video as a warning against anything like that and why it isn't right for the club. Now, look, last night at Old Trafford, the banners were there against Real Betis. The the chance were there. I was at Wembley. We were winning the, we were winning the Carabao Cup in the last five, ten minutes. We're still chanting about the Glazers leaving this club. Get out of our club. This Honestly, this dude, just I say it every time, he looks like a, a, like a Poundland Dr. Robotnik. I don't know what he looks like. He just looks like a proper villain. He absolutely does. He was at Wembley. The Glazers are digging in over the price. Let me bring you bang up to date with the latest from The Telegraph and from James Ducker and from Tom Morgan. Okay. We know full well that this has happened this week. The Manchester United bidders have been invited to Old Trafford for those presentations. And let's try and let's find out a little bit about information about what those presentations are going to entail. Man United's bidders will attend detailed presentations at Old Trafford next week as the Glazers are said to remain determined sellers at the right price, which is a big, important update to begin this part. We, we all still fear the idea that the Glazers would stay. There's a lot of business logic that would point that the best thing for them to do at this point, even for themselves, is to sell. And according to the Telegraph there, they remain determined sellers. Executives will outline opportunities and challenges as JBJ and Sir Jim Ratcliffe prepare their final offers. Telegraph Sport revealed on Saturday how the pair have been given the green light to enter the second stage. We know that. They will now come under pressure from the sellers to meet a £5 billion asking price. And that's an interesting one because we haven't heard that before. I don't know. Honestly, it feels to me a little bit at this stage that everybody seems to be guessing around that number. Even the most reputable of journalists. Uh, James Ducker there saying five billion. Uh, it was Laurie Whitwell in The Athletic earlier this week saying that the uh, the Rain Group are looking for somewhere in the region of six billion and that Joe Ravitch, the leader of the Rain Group, who is advising the Glaze on this, is asking for somewhere in seven to eight billion. It still feels like they're guessing, but the idea of five billion there would be certainly a bit closer to the initial indicative bids of somewhere in the region of four to four and a half billion that have gone in so far. Representatives from Rain Group are also flying in to help with talks. Uh, I hope they don't help too much because that sort of voice in the ear of the Glazers is, you can get more money out of this. They're going to make they're going to make negotiations difficult. This is where it gets interesting. As well as attending Old Trafford, advisors represented in Rat representing Ratcliffe and Sheikh Jassim will also be shown separately the Carrington training ground. As part of various due diligence exercises, detailed presentations are expected to outline the potential increased earning power if one billion is spent on infrastructure improvements. Now, I've spoken about this in quite some detail. The Glazers and the Rain Group suggesting that five, six, seven, eight billion is based around that investment being done. And that's what they're digging in. And that's going, to be an, that's going to be an interesting dynamic of these negotiations, of this process where you've got John Murto and Manchester United as a football club presenting, selling themselves to JBJ and to Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos. They're going to have to say, look, oh, you can see the numbers here. You've only had access to this, but trust me, this is what we're worth. And they're going to use that projection of if this money is spent, which they're not willing to spend yet they still want that to be factored into the price, I'd sort of be semi-surprised if it was. Bidders are also preparing to receive more financial, detailed financial information. That's going to be happening. Now, if we go down here, this is where we get some updates. If price expectations are not met, the Glazers could hold on to the club. They won't. They'd, I've told you, like, there's always going to be the fear that they hold on. But it just doesn't really make logical business sense at this point. It really, really doesn't. And this is where we get the identity of these hedge funds. And this is going to be the main core of this video. US hedge funds, Elliott Management, Oak Tree Capital and MSD Partners, partners they're all involved. They've all submitted proposals to Rain, and they're all offering to provide funding for potential suitors. Now, 
it's a completely different prospect to anything that JVJ is offering, that even the Ineos is offering. And this is why this banner from the 58 really reigns true because we have to focus on this only being a full sale. That is what is best for Manchester United at its at, at, at a minimum. At that point, we can argue and debate, and we will continue to do so, over whether you would prefer JBJ in the Qatari takeover or Sir Jim Ratcliffe and, and the Ineos takeover. But everything else should just be dismissed out of hand. Let's start with the Elliott group. Paul Singer is the man at the top of the Elliott group. And a quick look at their website and you can understand exactly why the Glazers are going to be speaking to them. Their HQ is in hmm, where? Florida. Of course, that's where the Glazers are based out of. And they're just they're just a list of high... I'll tell you what, their website is absolutely abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. But Paul Singer is the man who is at the top of that tree. Now, Elliott Management, they've been involved in AC Milan. They bought AC Milan when it was what? I can't remember. Was it nearly bankrupt when they bought him? Anyway, they saw an opportunity and now they sold it off. Elliott Group don't have a reputation that's very strong in sports. They don't have a lot of experience inside sports. And alongside then you've got Oak Tree. Now, Oak Tree, again, like the Elliott Group, are just opportunist. In, it's just an opportunist investment firm. Here they've got, a, the, this is just a deal. I've just did a bit of research. It's actually happened in the last few days. ABG reportedly close to 1.3 billion deal for parent of Quicksilver, Billabong. And look, they're talking about board riders as well. And board riders was acquired by Oak Tree Capital Management in 2016 after filing for bankruptcy. Again, like Elliott Management, they are, they're just a hedge fund, a US, a US investment firm looking at making a return. MSD Capital is the third one named there by James Ducker in the Telegraph. And a little bit of interest in digging on that. Do you know who this man is? Henry Maurice. Henry Maurice was a man who previously tried to buy Newcastle United from Mike Ashley. And Adam Craft, I remember reading this at the time, did a really in-depth piece on him and the whole story behind it. Hmm. No prizes for guessing who offered to finance part of that takeover. That will be MSD Partners. Maurice's proposed takeover of Newcastle was laced with risk as his proposal included a draft document with MSD Partners for a loan which included interest rates of 7.5% per year. Hmm. Hmm. Shady, shady, shady. Not slim shady, just straight up shady. When you look at Elliott Group Management and led by Paul Singer, whether you look at Oak Tree Capital and everything that they've been involved in, everything they've done, or MSD Capital. You are simply looking, and the really important part to remember about this is as you can read there, all the hedge funds, all the, the financial investment firms, they're looking to just finance anybody who wants the money. They're not coming with uh, a strategy or a statement or a vision for the club. They're looking at United going, ha, huh, we can make a buck out of that. Let's just finance anybody who will want to do it. And that is why this idea of a full sale has to be held completely and utterly true. It is the single most important thing at this point. We have to get rid of the glazers, but we have to make sure that we don't jump out of the frying pan and jump into the fire. That's what, in my opinion, Elliott Group, Oak Tree Capital or MSD partners, all of them would be. Because right now, we've got the right manager. He Ten Hag is the man. He's been named... Premier League Manager of the Month for February. I think the first manager since Fergie to win that award more than once in a single season. Sad as that fact is, it's true. Marcus Rashford winning his third Premier League Player of the Month award. And that is joint most out of any player in history in a single season. So if he wins it one more time, nobody has won it more times in a single season than Marcus Rashford. We've got the, we've got the right manager. We've got quite a lot of the right players. We do need more. Of course we do. But we need to make sure that whoever follows these leeches, they are right for the club. And in my opinion, that is not Elliott Group Management. That is not Oak Tree Capital. And that is not MSD Partners. Whether or not that is JVJ and, and the Qatari bid, or whether that is Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos, that is still a debate which is open. But this video, I hope, it brings you bang up to date on, the, on what's going on. Thank you very much to uh, James Ducker and to Tom Morgan for, for that. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you have a cracking weekend. Drop a like. Make sure you subscribe as well if you want to become part of the best community. There is. I think so anyway.